So if you want to just jump into some retro games on your phone without going through the hassle of setting up a bunch of emulators, then this app here called Lemuroid is what you want. It's what I call the simple and easy version of RetroArch, which can be complicated and confusing to get set up. But not Lemuroid, because you just simply load in your ROMs, Lemuroid will pick the best core to use for whatever system you are emulating, you get on-screen controls, or if you have a controller as I do, just attach it to your phone and the app will automatically map it out for you, as well as take the touch controls off your screen. Now it just doesn't get much easier than this. The only thing you have to do is make sure that you have all of your ROMs extracted on your phone already. I extracted them using a program called 7-Zip on my PC, then moved them over to my phone. But if you don't have a PC, then you can get this app called 7-Zipper free on the Play Store, and this will extract your ROMs as well. The phone I am using is a Samsung Galaxy S24 FE paired with the GameSir G8 Galileo controller. Okay, let's go ahead and head on over to the Play Store and go ahead and search for Lemuroid. This is what the app will look like. Once you find it, go ahead and install. Okay, so before we open the app, first let's go into My Files, Internal Storage, and inside of here, I have created a folder called ROMs. And inside of this folder, I have a bunch of ROMs. There is Nintendo DS ROMs, NES, Super Nintendo, Genesis, N64, and PlayStation ROMs all in this one folder. Now when using Lemuroid, you want to make sure that all of your ROMs, even for multiple consoles, is in one folder. Do not separate them. Now we can open the app. This is up to you. You can go ahead and enable notifications that will let you know when a game or operation is running in the background. I'm gonna go ahead and enable, allow. Now we have to select our ROMs directory. So I'm gonna scroll down and find that folder I created called ROMs right here. Okay, use this folder and allow. And there we are, all of my games have loaded in with box art. A few of them are missing box art, but that's okay. Now to see your complete list of games that you just loaded in, come down here to systems. And here are all the systems for ROMs that I just loaded in. And if we tap on one of these, you will be able to see your games. You just tap on the game you wanna play and that game should load up. And as you see, I have on-screen touch controls because I do not have my controller attached right now. And if you want to enter the game menu, then over here, hold on these three lines, and you have the option to save, load, quit, restart. You can enable fast forward, edit your controls, and you have your settings. And as you see, there really isn't anything in the settings menu. Let's go ahead and quit out of this game. And I'll go back to systems. And just to show you that everything is working, I'll select another system. We'll do Sega Genesis. And now I'm gonna go ahead and connect my controller. And as you see, Lemuroid has detected my gamepad. And it works, no setup required. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already.